my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. Let's debunk some toothpaste hacks and talk about how some toothpaste hacks may be ruining your life. So I love reading about hacks and how to use certain household items as other multi-purpose items, right? However, there is one DIY toothpaste hack that I've seen circulating the internet and it's super concerning to me. So let's talk about that one first and then I'll go over some good ones that are more okay to try. Toothpaste hack number one, putting toothpaste on your pimples. Stop doing this! A generation or two ago, a lot of people would say to put toothpaste on pimples if you needed a fast way to manage a breakout. While it's true that some ingredients in toothpaste can help with inflammation, it's in important to remember that the formula is designed for hard tooth enamel and not your delicate facial skin. So real talk, putting toothpaste on a pimple could actually backfire on you and cause more irritation than relief. I think this outdated information came about because many moons ago, the ingredients inside of toothpaste were different from today. Lots of toothpaste used to contain an ingredient called triclosan. Triclosan is still found in some medical products because of its antibacterial and antifungal properties, but it's not in as many kinds of toothpastes as it once was. So putting toothpaste on your skin a few decades ago may have helped with pimples, but not anymore because nowadays Days, the micro abrasives and drying agents inside of your toothpaste can really cause additional redness and inflammation if they're used on your face. Simply put, just stop putting toothpaste on your pimples. There are many better, more effective options out there. Skincare products. I actually have a few videos all about skincare and oral care and how the health of your teeth can directly relate to the health of your skin, which got me thinking. I need to tell people about this toothpaste acne misinformation. So if you do want to learn more about skincare and oral care in general, I'll of course link those videos of mine in the bottom bar below. But back to this video, before we go, let's talk about some other toothpaste hacks that so far seem okay. They don't need any debunking as far as we know right now. Some other things toothpaste can be used for are to clean foggy headlights. You can actually use a little toothpaste on a cloth or a sponge and scrub it in a circular motion and then rinse it off. Toothpaste can also be used as magic erasers. If your toddler colored on your wall, use a little toothpaste to gently clean off their artwork. It can also clean white sneakers or scuffs. White shoes don't stay white for that long, right? So use a little toothpaste and a toothbrush to clean them up and they'll look better in no time. It can fog proof your goggles or mirrors. Some people use toothpaste as an anti-fog treatment on bathroom mirrors, swimming goggles, or other protective eyewear to prevent it from fogging up. I've heard that baby shampoo works as well. Getting the gum out of hair. It happens to the best of us. If you or your child have gum stuck in your hair, rub toothpaste all over that area, let it sit for a few minutes, and then gently pull it out. And lastly, toothpaste can remove icky residue do in general. It can be built up on your keyboard, piano keys, or even a coffee mug. The micro abrasives and toothpaste help lift the surface residue off of whatever it is so that it looks cleaner than just wiping it off with a washcloth. So those are all the fun hacks on different things toothpaste can do. Let me know in the comments below if any of those have been debunked. As far as I know, they are all still good and okay to do, but I'm not the expert in cleaning foggy headlights. Maybe you are. Let us know. Is toothpaste worth it or not? Should we just use the actual cleaners that are made for the actual items? The one thing I know as a dental hygienist, do not use the toothpaste on your face as a spot acne treatment. Hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, teeth, and skin.